Hello everyone, back to tuning into today's uh, second video, doing European Outlook for today's second video. So as always on a Thursday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the uh, next week, 10 days across Europe. I should get on that for you in a moment. Just say that first video today was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've got 10 to 14 there with all of the regular features coming up for you later on uh, this afternoon. And uh, there's going to be another Christmas subject. I think we're up to update number 16 now, maybe, for the Christmas countdown. Uh, that will be uh, coming up later on today as well. So please like share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content and thank you so very much everybody for doing that for gals or weather beats okay we're going to start off the situation across europe today so we've got of low pressure across northern and eastern parts of europe and we've got high pressure reaching in and it's cold air with this trough of low in the north of the northeast the uh, high pressure wave from the azores is trying to reach in towards the west and the southwest europe but it's pretty deep low pressure up towards Greenland and Iceland. Upper air temperatures looking cold across much of northern uh, Europe. So cold upper air temperatures up there. Going further westwards though. And the upper air temperatures are starting to become milder into the far west of Europe. We've also got pretty warm upper air temperatures in the extreme southeastern corner through Greece and Turkey. Precipitation wise, there's outbreaks of rain, slink so here through Italy, over the Adriatic, in towards Balkans, come further northwards. This is primarily snow into southwestern parts of Russia. And snow flurries, snow showers back into the Baltic Sea states of Latvia, Estonia, Lithuania. North of that, well, mostly dry and cold, but some outbreaks of but snow moving into parts of Norway. And then out into the Western Europe, again, quite a lot of dry weather, but there is lots of cloud and some damp conditions into these western parts of Europe. Some heavy showers here to the central bowl of the Mediterranean, but mostly dry in Spain and Portugal. Bitterly cold across northern, northeastern parts of Europe, and pretty cold going down the eastern side as well. And do run, run into that warmer air uh, into the eastern part of the Mediterranean through Greece, Turkey, and up in towards the Black Sea. Out west, begin to get a little bit milder as well as that milder air advances in from off the Atlantic. Tomorrow, Friday, see high pressure from the Azores taking over across much of Western Europe. That starts to lift jet stream northwards and introduces a push of milder southwest winds. The cold air in the north and northeast begins to start retreating back a little bit. Upper air temperatures show that the coldest uh, temperatures are in the east and the northeast of Europe. Tomorrow is turning uh, milder out across those western parts of Europe in particular. Well, dry weather with that area of high pressure. There will be rain, stink, snow from northern Scotland moving in towards Norway. And there could be some heavy showers, possibly some thunderstorms here over on the eastern side of the, of the Mediterranean, particularly again through the Greek islands and going up in towards Turkey. Some heavy showers, thunderstorms possible through the central part of the Med, but many western parts of Europe looking uh, mainly dry. Most dry conditions ex extending into Germany, Poland, even as far east as Ukraine and most of the Baltic Sea states. Very cold still, though, across the far north and northeast Europe becoming milder out in the western part of Europe. And those milder temperatures are beginning to encroach a little bit further eastwards as well. <coughs> Excuse me, so in towards the low countries, for example, even Western Germany starting to see the temperature ticking up a little bit as we go through into uh, Friday. Amounts of trend into the weekend, big area, high pressure dominating across many uh, Western parts of Europe and into Central Europe as well. It's more unsettled in the north and west, but that's where we've got these southwesterly winds bring those uh, milder upper air temperatures. So the milder upper air temperatures um, encroaching all the way in towards uh, Norway and uh, much of Sweden as well. Even across Finland, see the coldest of the air begin to retreat back into western parts of uh, Russia. So a big, big warm across many parts of Europe actually uh, by Saturday with this uh, with this area of high pressure from the Azores. Again, it really is just the far eastern part of Europe that is looking colder with those upper air temperatures. So mainly dry, of course, with that area of high pressure. There will be outbreaks of rain into northern western parts of Scotland. There are rain, sleet, and snow heading in towards Norway and some parts of uh, particularly uh, western. Sweden. Uh, snow here in towards uh, Finland, probably turned to rain in southern counties. And then we go for ourselves again, loads of dry weather to run back into the showers into the northern part of Africa, particularly in towards the eastern part of the Med. Again, Greece and Turkey could see some big downpours on Saturday with risk of thunderstorms. Watch out for some fog with this uh, area of high pressure through those uh, continental parts of Europe. And the temperature wise, well, the coldest of the air retreating back in towards the west of Russia and the extreme north and northeast of Finland, becoming a lot milder actually through uh, Scandinavia and Norway. I mean, first half, it's, it's uh, pretty mild there, or very mild through Ireland, the UK, France 
Scots, mate. Portugal, low countries as well. Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, and most minor countries are easing further eastwards in towards Germany too. That's a setup for Sunday again. Big Richard Pie pressure. Keeps in control of the weather on Sunday. Again, we will have these weather systems both rushing into uh, the north of Scotland and deeper low pressure heading in towards Scandinavia as well. The upper air temps look very mild, if not warm, actually, across most parts of uh, Western Europe in particular. It's a big, warm ridge. So, look at those upper air temperatures through, smart, through France, Spain, Portugal, for example, plus 10 Celsius iceberg pushing through there, just getting to the far south of England. And the coldest of the air, well, we do still have some cold air across the far north of Scandinavia and the Nordic regions, but you see how these milder temperatures are pushing further and further eastwards and northwards with time. Again, lots of dry weather under that area of high pressure. What precipitation there is, is bringing down in the uh, north of Africa in the form of heavy showers or thunderstorms. The showers and thunderstorms through um, Greece and Turkey generally easing and then further north there will be shower rain pushing eastwards through the island of the UK and into those uh, northern parts of Europe so into Norway and also into uh, the Baltic Sea states and so that could turn to snow as it bumps into some colder air sitting across western Russia that's how the um, temperatures are looking so beginning to turn colder again actually by Sunday across central northern parts of Norway and Sweden and Finland but still pretty mild across southern Sweden southern Norway and into Denmark and reasonably mild, I suppose, through the Baltic Sea states too. Otherwise, it's a mild scene through most parts of uh, central western Europe. It does get a bit colder though as we go over into the east. Monday continues to draw up those very mild southwestern winds on the northern side of this big area of high pressure. The sea can try again. Look how warm the upper air temperatures are. These are really quite remarkable upper air temperatures for uh, the 18th of December. And lots of dry weather too. There will be some outbreaks of uh, rain into far northwest of uh, Scotland again on Monday and rain, sleet, and snow pushing towards Norway. But otherwise, it's a dry scene once more across most parts of Europe. Again, watch out for fog under that area of high pressure. And, you know, if I use a very mild air mass that's coming in with this high because of the light winds and the um, um, and land mass, we could see some dense fog under that area of high pressure through France, Germany, Poland, for example, Austria, Hungary. Those are the places I'd like to get some, um, some uh, dense fog under that area of high pressure. Very mild on Monday across West. Europe. We're into the yellows there across Ireland, the UK, into the far west of France. I can see the temperature lifting up into 15 Celsius, very mild through Spain and Portugal as well. Uh, cold bow still across the extreme north and the northeast of Europe. And then things begin to change a little bit on Tuesday as the high pressure starts to weaken and lower pressure begins to come in back into the north and the west of Europe. So that starts to bring some cooler air in towards the north and the west of Europe. So Ireland, the UK, in towards uh, Norway and Sweden. Start to see those upper air temperatures begin to come down a little bit, although still very mild or warm with those upper air temperatures across the rest of Europe. Turning more unsettled as well, about breaks of rain pushing through Ireland, the UK, in towards the low countries, Denmark, and northern parts of Germany, and more wet weather heading in towards Norway. There'll be a mix of rain, sleet, and snow. Of course, uh, and then the area of high pressure to the south of that wet weather, mostly dry conditions for the bulk of the continent. Temperatures look cold across the extreme north and northeast of Europe again, but to generally milder through those uh, western and also through those central regions. We go on into Wednesday, we start to bring in some cooler air from uh, the northwest, deep low pressure into Scandinavia, by the way, that will start to bring uh, cold air in towards the north of Europe again, as winds turn into the, uh, into the north there. Northwest winds begin to set in through the west of Europe as well, just notice the high pressure generally begin to break down and pull out into the Atlantic. The upper air temperatures, they're looking colder across northern parts of Europe, and cold air begins to get in towards west of Europe as well. Warmest upper air temperatures down across southern and also eastern and southeastern parts of Europe, are generally more and settled scene across uh, northern and western Europe with showers and longer spells of rain they could well turn to sleet and snow as they push further northwards in towards Scandinavia. Very cold air again sitting across northern parts of Europe but turning progressively milder as we come down to southern Europe and then on into Thursday. Well, this is a long way off but it does look a little bit alarming for those of us in western Europe because this area of low pressure deepens like man turns into a very significant storm. So the risk of severe gales here in towards Ireland, the UK, possibly northern France, low countries, Germany, may affect parts of Scandinavia as well. We'll have to firm up on that closer to the time frame. So upper air temperatures, cold, <coughs> excuse me, cold for northern parts of Europe, generally mild across southern 
the western parts of Europe until that low pressure pushes through and that low then will start to feed in colder air from the North Atlantic. So a lot of heavy rain again with that area of low pressure and once more it could be severe gales into Western Europe as well as that bumps into the cold air in towards uh, uh, Norway, Sweden and possibly Denmark it could turn to snow. Heavy showers and thunderstorms here over on the eastern side of the Mediterranean as well, so through uh, North Africa up towards Greece and Turkey, big showers and storms are possible. Showers into central Poland may too, and some snow maybe for eastern and northeastern parts of Europe. Temperature wise, becoming colder and bitterly colder at that across uh, the far north of Europe. Otherwise, it's generally mild, seeing but those temperatures are beginning to come down from where they are through the early to middle part of the week. Well, I'll just run you on to day 10. So we've got Friday, 22nd of uh, December here, looking very cold and stormy across most parts of uh, Europe then. And then as we go through into Saturday the 23rd uh, we find colder air digging in from the north across many places so Western Europe turns significantly colder and uh, just generally quite cold seeing really under that area of low pressure on the eve of Christmas Eve. And then finally we get to Christmas Eve, which of course is day 10, 24th of December. Most parts of Europe sitting under cold air, but some slightly milder or less cold air begins to start trickling back in to uh, the far west of Europe as the Azores High again begins to try and re-establish from the southwest. And where we go beyond that through Christmas... Da -da -da, we'll have a look tonight when we do our next Christmas update. Okay, so uh, that's the European outlook for this week. We do it all over again uh, next Thursday. If you enjoyed the forecast, please do you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for doing that. And we're going to be back later on, as I say, with our next sort of Chris countdown and also a 10 to 14 day. That's all to come this afternoon. But for the European outlook, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.